What's going on, guys? You know who it is. What's up, E World? And yes, that right there is a Super 73 S2. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Yes, Super 73 content is coming to my channel. So, first up, this bike is not running as of right now. It has an error code, I believe. Uh, the co What is that error code on this thing? I forgot. I think it's 055, something like that. Uh, you know, I'm not a Super 73 guy, but uh, supposedly in the Super 73 world, that is the code of death. That's what they say. Now, that may be the code of death for them guys, but uh, there is no codes of death for any e-bikes that come through here. Any and all e-bikes will be resurrected that come through my hands or pass through my hands. That's for sure. It might be a code of being sick, but there is no code of death for any e-bike, like I said, that I get my hands on. Now, this bike is going to be modified and upgraded to a 72 volt direct drive system. And that system will be pretty much like my system, except it won't have a Frankenstein battery. Either I'm going to build a 72 volt from scratch or we're going to purchase uh, an expensive one. Haven't figured that out yet. But this bike will be modded and upgraded. New everything. But before I mod it and upgrade it, I'm still going to do a diagnostic on it. Just to see what's wrong with it. And uh, maybe help some of you guys that have that same code. I'm also going to show you how to fix and repair this bike with non-Super 73 parts. I know a lot of you guys are scared to death. Uh, and I don't blame you. Especially when you pay uh, the prices that people pay for these bikes. You're scared to void the warranties and whatever, whatever. But uh, if you actually own your bike and it's no longer under warranty or you purchased your bike you know uh from craigslist or facebook marketplace or whatever and there is no warranty uh you do not have to repair these super 73s with super 73 parts you can put aftermarket controllers on them you can put aftermarket throttles on them you can put aftermarket motors on them. You do not have to pay outrageous prices for any of the parts. And uh, like I said, if whatever's wrong with this bike, I'm gonna diagnose it first. I'm gonna do a video on that. I'm gonna, uh, if I don't repair it, I'm at least gonna tell you what the problem is. And uh, I'm pretty much, I, I probably will still show you how to repair it. But uh, what the plans are for this bike is to be modded and upgraded. But I'm going to make and do any type of content I can make on this bike while it's in my possession. No doubt about it. So, for any of you guys want to know how to work on a Super 73, specifically a S2, because this is a S2, but it goes for all of them, man. It doesn't matter what it is. They're all the same far as I'm concerned anyway so yep super 73 content is coming to this channel now you can take a chance if you want to and hope that I put everything on YouTube but it's guaranteed to have everything on my patreon that is for sure but uh, I haven't made up my mind as of yet. Because like I said, I'm still trying to build my YouTube channel up first. And uh, whatever I got to do, I got to do. But uh, 
most importantly, I want to help people. And uh, so this one will probably be on YouTube. But like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to show every little detail. But we'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll holler at you guys later. I just gave this thing a bath. Because before I work on anything, it's got to have a bath. <laughs> and this bike, uh, I believe this bike only has like 50-something miles on it. According to its odometer. According to its odometer, it's only got 50-something miles on it. So, the fact that you guys are so gung-ho and crazy about Super 73s, and I see a whole bunch of them breaking down on the Super 73 uh, DIY channel, and they're a couple days old, uh, well, all I can say is uh, my Zuko didn't break down. Not in a couple days, not in a couple weeks, and definitely not in a couple miles. And the only reason I broke my Zugo is I broke it. I broke it uh, putting it, putting a whole bunch of stress on it. But uh, it's actually not even broke anymore. You, well, you guys know that. But I mean, before I, I modified it, I repaired it and it was minor. But anyway, that's all for now. Take it easy. Take care. Deuces. Y'all know what's coming.